Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to use the D average function. The D average function is actually one of the group of database functions Excel has and what it does is it averages up a column in the database or a list based on some criteria. So I had mentioned a database so basically you would need a table which would represent the database which I have here and our criteria would basically be another table pretty much a two row table that has the well we would you would have a headings here and maybe this wouldn't be needed but you'd have at least one row that would have the criteria and it would have to be the category salesperson and sales in this example so we have to fit the same type of column of value, heading and values that are represented in the database so let me give you an example of, how, of what this does so let's say for example I wanted to find out what's the average of all the sales in the government category so if I type government in here press tab it's going to average it out here so that's going to base it on this sale here this government sale here this one this one and that's about it and so the last one so the average here at the bottom it shows you is 5297 which this uh, d average command did now let's say that we wanted to have multiple criteria in addition to government what are the averages of the government with salesperson bob so we have salesperson bob we click put Bob name, press enter, it's going to come up with 6423. So we have Bob here under government, we have Bob here under government, and we have Bob here under government, and we have 6423. Let me go ahead and delete that. And let's say we didn't we didn't we didn't want just Bob. I'm going to delete that one. Maybe we want it just everything for Faye. So we want the average of Faye's uh, sales and so we click on Faye here and there's another instance of, instance of Faye here so that's six four seven nine so that's the average there so how do we do this well basically the way that you would need to have it set up is of course you would have a table that has your database you would have a, a, another table that would be your criteria and then you would have the cell where you would have your function your d average function command so there are three arguments in the dAverage function. There is the table, the list or array, the range of the range of data where you want to look up. This is A3 to C13 right here. It includes the heading, A A3 to C13. The next argument is the column. So this is the, the you have the number three here. It's the third column. One, two, three. Alternatively, you can also enter in the column heading, but you'd have to enter that in in quotes. So I can instead of column three here, I can just type in sales, but do it with open quotes, sales, close quotes. So it has to match that column heading. And let me go ahead and press Control Enter to, to stay in that cell. And you can see here it really hasn't done anything, but sales works. So if we put in Bob here again, we went to or I went to 5633, we click Bob's rows here and here and here, and you'll see 5633 here. So let me go to the third argument. So what the third argument is, it's looking for that table that has the criteria, basically A1 to C2, A1 to C2 here. So there, it's actually pretty pretty simple. Uh, the, the three arguments within this function, you're looking at the database, which is the first argument here, A3 to C13. The second argument, you're looking for either the column number, which is the, in here, in this case, is the third column, or you're looking for the column heading, which you would have to put in quotes. And then for the third argument, you're looking for the criteria. So you're basically creating another table that has a, cri has a criteria. And another kind of tip here is, if instead of, you, you don't want to type in the criteria each time, you can actually right click it. Let me go ahead and press escape to get out of the edit mode. You can right click it and go under pick from drop down list and it's going to give you a drop down list of what is here. So it's going to take the unique value here. And the reason why that happens is Excel is pretty smart to look at adjacent data below and let you choose from the drop down list here. Now that has to be adjacent row. So what happens if we put, a, put another row here? We uh, I'm gonna go and press Control Shift and then the plus key. And if I, you see, if I right click, if I right click up here, and I choose pick from drop down list, there's nothing except category, which it picked up from up here. And if I did it down here, it's gonna pick up everything down there. Pick from drop down list, you'll see it picked up everything down here. So to enable that 
drop down list to have values populate in there, you have to have the table pretty close to each other. So let me go ahead and right click and delete that. And that's just a little tip there. So like getting back to another example, if we just picked from drop down list and we picked up enterprise and we picked up, well, let's just stick with enterprise. We have 5115. So enterprise, we have this and then we have control click, control click and we have that value down there. So that's a quick overview of the D average function. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.